What's going on guys, it's Frost here. Today, we're tackling the gauntlet. This is the third official part of the Leviathan Raid, and let's get started. This is probably the easiest section of the raid, um, difficulty-wise. Mechanically, it's tough. Um, if you're bad at jumping puzzles, um, you're gonna kinda struggle here. <laughs> Try not to be one of the runners. Uh, there's hardly any ads in this. There's going to be a few centurions that spawn, uh, maybe 12 per quarter of the map. The map is a circle and it's divvied up into quarters. So you're going to have a few scions spawn and then at the end of the ad phase you're going to have one centurion spawn. He's going to have a fire shield. Make sure you have fire weapons. Uh, it makes quick, quick work of him. Uh, swords are good. Rocket launchers are good. Uh, use your super. You're not using your super for anything else in here. So uh, just use it on the Satyrion that spawns. So you're going to split your uh, raid team into two fire teams. A four person fire team and a two person fire team. Uh, you're going to have the pillar crew and you're going to have the runner crew. Uh, the pillar crew, you're going to assign pillars. We have a sun pillar, we have a chalice pillar, we have a dog pillar, and we have an axis pillar. It's the same four objects you see all the time. Uh, it's just divvied up into quarters of the map. So, know your item. Know that you're at sun. Know that you're at chalice if you're at chalice. Um, know who's to the right of you. If you're at chalice, I believe axes are to the right of you. Uh, I could be wrong. But know the person to the right of you. That's important. Know yours and know the person to the right of you. So the pillar section of this encounter is tougher than the running section, unfortunately. Uh, there's a lot of coordination. The runners just obviously have to run. They have to not fall in holes. They not die. The runners have to coordinate, work as a team, and, you know, get you to be able to run. Um, so there's no ads. So just focus on what your players are focus on what your runners are telling you. Uh, listen, know what's going on. Listen for any problems that are going on. So after you kill the centurion, the four people at their pillars are going to stand on their pillars. You're going to be lifted into the air, and there's going to be three arrows in front of you. What those arrows are for is the runner is going to call out the item, which would be sun or dog or chalice or axes then they're gonna call out the row top middle or bottom uh, you are going to shoot the one that the ones that he does not call so if he calls top you're gonna shoot middle and bottom if he shoots or if he calls middle you're gonna shoot top and bottom the drawback to this is you can't shoot them both yourself uh, unless they're next to each other like middle and top or middle and bottom uh, you can get away with it if you use a high rate of fire weapon and kind of spray both of them at the same time but to avoid that and to avoid you know not being able to hit the top and bottom ones when you need to uh, you are going to shoot at one and the person to the left of you is going to shoot at one so you're gonna shoot at one and then you're gonna help the person to your right that's all you need to know like if you're a cup shoot your own and then since he's the runners running clockwise you're gonna shoot the person clockwise to you which is to your right so if you're at cup you're gonna help axes after you're done with cup to make this easy on you guys I'm just gonna divvy it up for you cup and dog will always shoot the highest one that you have to shoot sun and axes are always gonna shoot the lowest one that you have to shoot Nobody talk. I repeat the Nobody cup and the dog will always shoot the highest one that you have to shoot. Sun and axes are always going to shoot the lowest one. This is very important and it works out um, mechanically because uh, it's split up the way as it can never be wrong. No person, no two people are going to be shooting at the lowest one the way the room's set up. It's impossible. So just listen to what I say cup and dog always shoot the highest 
and axes and sun always shoot the lowest. So after you shoot them both at the same time, the one you need to, for instance, if he calls top, you're going to shoot middle and bottom. Uh, cup is always going to shoot the middle one. And the person to the left, which is helping his right, which would be you, is always going to shoot the lowest one. So he's going to shoot the bottom one. You're going to shoot middle and bottom. If everything's done right, if everything's done in time, the, everything's going to turn green. Your arrows are going to turn green. The circles inside are going to turn green. And there will be an orb for the runner to grab. When the runner goes through your gate, and this is another very important part, there's going to be an orb that he grabs. That keeps him alive, but when he grabs the orb, that's going to spawn a scion on the outside at your pillars. He's going to be nearby, typically straight in front of you in the middle, but he is going to spawn. He's going to have the circle around him, so you can't shoot him. You have to run up and melee him. So the whole way this is going to play out, you're going to get on your own pillar at cup. This is the example I'm going to give you. You're at cup. He says, the runner says, cup, middle. So, if you're at cup, you're going to shoot the highest one. You're going to shoot high. The person to the left of you is going to shoot the bottom one. He's going to shoot the lowest. Then, you're going to run up, find the scion, quickly melee it, kill it. Then you're going to turn to the right of you because he's going to be calling, I believe, to the right of that is axes. He's going to say, axes, top. Since Cup always shoots highest, he's going to shoot the middle one on axis, not on yours, on axis. Then um, the person at axis is going to shoot the lowest one. He's going to shoot the bottom one. If you don't kill the Scion, if you miss the Scion, it will wipe your whole team, and you're going to have to start from scratch. So moving on to runners. Running is easy. Well, not necessarily easy, but easier than the pillars. It's less coordination, as we were talking about. Uh, after the Centurion is killed, after they're all killed, you're going to run and grab a ball. One spawns a chalice and one spawns a dog. You will teleport onto the track on the outside of the room. After three seconds that you're on the track, you will be released from a barrier. You will call just before that's released, like after three seconds exactly, you're going to call. If you're at cup, you're going to call cup and whichever it is, just middle, top, bottom. Um, the people on the outside are going to coordinate, they're going to shoot it, it's going to turn green, or it's going to turn red. If it's green, you're going to grab the orb, uh, you're going to jump through and grab the orb. If it's red, keep running, go through it as soon as possible. You can afford to miss one in a row, you can only miss one. If you miss two in a row, uh, you're not going to have enough time, the orb's going to start glowing, it's going to become unstable, and it's going to explode, and you'll have to be revived. Uh, after you run a whole lap, that's four callouts, one on each pillar, uh, you'll cross the finish line and you'll teleport back to the room. Take your ball of light into the room in the center and slam it in. One of the elephant trunks will have that orb of light in it. You'll have ten elephant trunks. You'll need to fin fill all ten of those elephant trunks. You'll do this standard running as we've just been talking about three times you'll come back with six uh, orbs of light after the fourth one starts everyone's going to converge in the middle room after you kill all the ad actually I don't even think add spawn you'll all converge in the middle you'll all grab one of the orbs all six of you now are going to be running on the track for this last phase the fourth phase in the last phase you do not need every single person to survive. What you do need is to have three people survive minimum and four people to survive minimum if one of your runners have died through the phase, uh, through this whole thing. Uh, if you do not bring all six orbs back from the three standard runs, if you only bring five back, you will need four people to be alive. So moving on. No one will be working the pillars so you'll all be running. Uh, designate four people. There are four orbs to grab. Typically you're supposed to alternate who gets them because you can skip one and still survive. But we're just going to designate four people to always grab the four orbs to keep them alive. Designate two people to stay alive until you explode. Do not fall in the holes. Wait until the entire timer. You will have just enough time to finish this. Halfway through the last run with all six of you on the track, floor will start to fall and open holes that will kill you. 
uh, you got to be very careful of that. Um, the runners, obviously, you don't want them to die. The non-runners that are just designated to time out, you don't want them to die either. Because if they die, you know, three seconds too early, uh, that's a wipe because you're not going to have enough time to get out of the room and revive them within the 30 seconds that your light will fade. Moving on. If done correctly, all the elephant trunks, when you go, on three, four, whatever you need, get out, past that finish line, and slam it into the middle. All nine, ten elephant trunks. I think ten. No, nine. It's definitely nine. They will all have an orbital light of them, and you'll pass the encounter. It's pretty easy. Once you have the mechanics down, once you understand what's going on, it's super, super, super easy. Uh, it took us, you know, a dozen tries to beat this our first time through. But, you know, coming back to it, we did it our second try. It's way easy. Uh, just get out there. Go do it. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, check out my channel. You might like some more stuff. I got um, basically a tutorial on all the raid stuff. I got some cheeses. I have, you know, chest locations if you need those and uh, a couple of tactics for that stuff. So, don't forget to subscribe. Hope this helped, and I'll see you later, babe. Twenty. We're good. Someone else has to make it. Ten. Thirty. Revive trip. Done. Woo! Everybody, hold on. I'm, hold on. I'm hungry. Look at me. I'm getting a snack. <laughs>